All right, so we're constantly talking about the entrepreneur and the small business guy around here, especially because who the heck knows what's going on with the government. And Carol Roth, author of the New York Times bestseller, The Entrepreneur Equation, generally remote on Skype, here with us in studio. I love, though, the topic for today is lessons that we can learn from celebrities. Yes. And what's interesting to me about celebrities is that they quickly parlay the fame. Quickly, right? Whether it's a clothing line, whether it's a perfume, whether it's something, it's all about riding that, 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 uh, that wave of fame as soon as you can. It is. They're not just entertainers anymore, Tracy. They're also brands. Right. So that right, means right. that they're building their businesses, and other businesses have lots of takeaways from the hottest celebrities that are out there. It's much like having a diversified investment portfolio, I think, right? Because I guess you can't, especially in the entertainment world, much like TV, what's here today is gone tomorrow. So you need, you need backup plans. You do. You do. Okay, so some of your tips were, it's, it's much like Oprah, it takes time. It does. So thank goodness for Oprah Winfrey. She's yeah. got this new endeavor, this own network, and it's not going according to plan. But that shouldn't be shocking to anyone because it takes a year and a half to two years for businesses to lay their foundation. And everyone's saying, oh, well, it's Oprah. We thought it was going to be amazing. Well, you know, she has the resources. She has the capital. She has the network. But it still takes time. So now we have somebody to point to and say, if Oprah, if it's going to take time for Oprah, it's going to take time for you. So I think that's a great point. I also think that to me, it was also just because you hit it the first time doesn't necessarily mean you're going to hit it the second time. Like not everything you touch is gold. Yeah, it, t and, and it, it might not work. It may or it may not, but she's you know she's doing what she needs to do. I have faith that she I she's agree. gonna she's gonna pull it out. But we have to give her a break, right? It's only been six months, and these things do take time. One of the other things that um, I love is go niche. That's yes. another one of your tips. And um, again, it's you know uh, I'm gonna do this little perfume, or I'm gonna do a clothing line. Like these guys find their little shtick. Yes. Unlike the Olsen sisters, who are in everything, <laughs> yes. and they just had their 25th birthday the other day, by the way. Uh, it's amazing. Crazy, crazy. It's amazing that they're 25. Do you understand? Do you like Justin Bieber? Are you a Justin I mean, Bieber my fan? kids were now they're not right he seems to be like depends on that right like i don't i don't personally get justin bieber and the you know funky haircut right. and everything but like you said your kids do and that's the niche and i think businesses have so much to learn from that because they want to be everything to everyone they want to have every customer in the market here's somebody that i don't really care about you don't really care about but every twin girl in america does and he's become the biggest star on the planet so if you know your people service them, go for that niche, and that will really propel your business to success. It's a genius niche, too, because you get a little 10-year-old that says, Daddy, I want to go to his concert. He, I mean, they had stupid uh, competitions, right? He had to, like, do obstacle courses in heels, that poor father, to win tickets to. Oh, that was Miley Cyrus. But still, same thing. Right. They right. know that they, it's that little group of kids. Well, I'll tell you that not only that, just using cute members of the opposite sex always worked. Yeah, there was a yeah, great yeah. store in Chicago that had this strategy. It was a shoe store, and they would only have really good-looking guys who would, you know, put the shoe, the shoe on the woman's foot and go, oh, my God, you look so hot in that shoe. So, of course, every woman's buying, like, ten pairs of shoes. And they did phenomenal. Phenomenally well, so you know, sex does sell. <laughs> it sure does. Um, the last, your last tip is even a good brand could become tarnished. And again, I think that also plays into Oprah might not make it right, or like, be careful. Be careful, because it could end. The ride could end. Absolutely. You can't get complacent. People like to do business with people that they know and they like and they trust. And if you look at Charlie Sheen, Lindsay Lohan, Tiger Woods, and name the celebrity every week, there are people who got complacent. They just figured no matter what they did, that people were going to love them. Charlie Sheen was on the biggest hit show on TV. But, you know, if people don't like you and people don't trust you, they don't want to do business with you. So if you have a good thing going, be grateful for it. You know, make Make sure that you're still loving your customers and you're doing those things to make sure they still like you and trust you over time. You know, we have restaurateurs coming on next, and I know they will be the first to tell you that you can't step back for a second. No. Right? You cannot step. When you're an entrepreneur, and I, God bless all of you out there, you can't take a break from it ever. No. You can't rest on your laurels. Mm -hmm. it's a, too, not anymore. You might have been able to do it 15 years ago, but there's too much competition. There's always someone around the corner who wants to steal your customer away from you. Yes. Same goes for TV, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm come at you. I'm, I'm saving my seat. <laughs> You're awesome. The book is called The Entrepreneur Equation. Yes. Um, CarolRolf.com is the website. I think we're going to put your site up right now. Yep, there it is. Thanks for coming on set. Yeah, great Glad to see you in person, town. finally. Come back. <laughs>